I'm taking some video and narrating my video. Uh, it looks like you're casing the joint. What are we doing? Taking video. Oh, cool. Yeah. For what? How's it going? All right. What are you guys filming for? What are you filming for? What am I filming for? Yes. Oh, we don't know each other well enough for that. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut what down? Shut it down. Why are you filming us? Shut yourself down. If you continue to film inside there, yeah, you, you or will be Just... cited for harassment. How's it going guys? I'm against it press and we are coming to you today from Oakmont, Pennsylvania. Uh, not doing my usual intro here because we're in a little bit of a congested area, a lot of businesses around, a uh, very small sidewalk and just uh, don't want to make a spectacle out of myself and give ourselves away. Uh, but we are going to pay a little visit here on a state owned liquor store. Uh, Pennsylvania, like a few other states out west, does have state-owned liquor stores. Uh, so this is a uh, state-run, state-owned, completely uh, publicly owned liquor store. And uh, like I said, we're gonna pay a little visit on them here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today and we are out on a public sidewalk, as you can see both ways. There is no sidewalk across the street. A little interesting situation here. And uh, let me give you a look around where we are. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, July 13th. It is 2020. It is 4.30 in the afternoon and it is 86 degrees. Partly cloudy, partly sunny, depending on how you look at those things. And uh, here in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. Um, I think this should be an interesting one. We've done a couple of state-owned liquor stores before in different states and uh, had some very interesting videos out of those. So, uh, should be a good one here. So, stand by. Yeah. Oh, not at all. Thank you. Thank you. How much that gimbal cost? Sorry? How much the gimbal cost? How much you got? No, I'm just asking out of curiosity. How much the I cost? can't get into that right now. Uh, Hey, Megan, out there watching. What's up? Tapping. Guy wants to know how much my gimbal costs. That's up? I, I said to him, how much you got? Um, all right, well, this ought to be interesting. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So don't go away. Let me give you a look at some of the signs they have here on the uh, entrance. So there must be 21, at least 21 to purchase alcohol. Uh, if you are visibly intoxicated, we cannot serve you alcohol and never drink and drive. Good reminders. Um, we have a sign here, it says, store is monitored by video. And uh, here's their hours here. At this store? So. Ah. No, it's a bit different. What y'all doing? <laughs> Gentlemen. What Sorry? Y'all doing? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Who's asking? Me. The people inside here. Me, what are you doing? Um taking some video and narrating my video. Uh, it looks like you're casing the joint. Does it? Yeah, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Looks like I'm casing the joint. Yeah, that's the way that goes. That looks good. I'm gonna close the blinds now. Look, check this out.
don't know if you can see her in there. She's closing all the blinds. She's going to cover up their open sign. Watch this. Amazing. That is so silly. So think about the logic behind that, because even if the case is that they legitimately are worried about like the uh, quote unquote privacy out in public of their patrons here, right? We're still going to see them going in and out. So what are you blocking? And uh, glass windows too on the doors, glass doors. Yeah. So what's the real purpose? And she didn't close the other side, she only closed her side. That woman that came out and asked with the other gentleman is running the register on this side. You probably can't see it through the glass. And then there's another register on this side uh, run by somebody else and she didn't bother closing any of these windows. So pretty interesting. Maybe she just personally doesn't want to be on camera. Excuse me. And remember, guys, uh, keep in mind that these are public employees. These people are working for a state-owned liquor store. These are not. Uh, this is not a private liquor store in any way, shape, or form. And therefore, these people cannot be working in the private sector. It's a public business. Why the state is in the liquor business, I have no idea, but... It was funny because when we moved out west, I had never heard of a state-owned liquor store before. Yeah. Um, Idaho, there's a couple of different places. Yeah, Utah. Utah. But uh, definitely not New York where I'm from. And again, I just want to point out to you guys, public sidewalk, public business. Um, and, you know, we have done some private businesses. And uh, I think, in my humble opinion, it gives me a good opportunity to explain my theory to you. I just think that it's extremely important. You know, police officers go to work and they get uh, schooled and they have, hopefully, they have training, they have conversations, uh, word of mouth, and they know what's going on and they know about our First Amendment rights and they know that we're allowed to be out here taking video and uh, photographs in public. But um, unfortunately, some of the public is not aware of that. The vast majority of the public, I would say, uh, honestly believes that you can't be out taking pictures in public without their permission or whatever their uh, parameters are. So I think it's equally as important, if not more important, for the uh, citizens to know what their rights are. Um, you know, everybody's all about educating the police, and that's extremely important, and that's what we do, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Um, but I feel like it's equally, as I said, or I believe more important, uh, to educate the general public. And uh, why wouldn't you want to know what the facts are? Why wouldn't you want to have information? So uh, just thought I'd point that out. And, you know, the argument you get out of most people is, um, oh, I know what you're right, and I know you can do that, but it's just not right to make people feel uncomfortable. And I have an issue with that statement because I don't understand how me being out here taking video is making anybody else anything. If you want to feel uncomfortable, that's up to you. And the proof of that is if you have 100 people walk by, a certain amount of them will be waving at the camera emphatically, having a good time laughing, smiling, and have something smart to say. Uh, another group will just be fine with it, won't say anything. Another group will be very upset about it. And uh, another group will call the cops on you. So uh, who's to say which one of those reactions is the uh, rational reaction? I don't know. That's a very subjective um, idea, and it's a subjective opinion. So as far as I'm concerned, if something is my right, or if something is your right, it inherently cannot be wrong. And uh, that's the end of the story. So... If rights were handed out based on people's feelings, imagine that situation. Is it, was she yelling something? I couldn't even hear her, I saw her come out and look. But. Yeah, so this is the store they just came out of here. Coming to see what we're doing, so it's Urbana. What are the two dots over the A mean, Watchmen?
dark. What are we doing? Taking video. Oh, cool. Yeah. For what? Anything in particular? Well, so I don't do anything without a purpose. Huh. What's the purpose? I can't get into it right now. I'm oh, taking video and audio and video and doing audio. my thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Cool. cool. Yeah. Is it for like a commercial or something? I can't get into what it's. I can't get into the specifics. Oh. Weird. Is it a secret? Well, if you want to go first, tell me about your personal life. I'd be happy to follow up. This no, this is, is just. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just out here minding my own business. I'm just taking some pictures of your sign. And... Yeah. Weird. All right. Yeah. Weird. We're all weird. Everybody's weird. Right? Well, have a good day. Yeah, you do the same. Thank you. Yeah. How are we doing, boss? How's it going? All right. What are you guys filming for? Sorry? I said, do you mind, mind me asking what you guys are filming for? Oh, I don't mind you asking, but I same thing I told them. I'm not going to get into specifics. No, that's okay. Just I'll take some video. Okay. But I appreciate you. All right. What's your name and badge number so I can... Uh, my, I'm Officer recording? Bowman from Oakland Police Department. Bowman. My, my badge number is seven, um, 7764. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yep. that. All right. So, we just had a couple of people, you know, in the area that are just kind of wondering why you guys are filming. All right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. They're just kind of creeped out by the situation. I'm just creeped out by people with cameras. Yes. I They're hope you'll. I, I hope you'll tell them how in. silly that is. I understand you guys are well within your rights to do so. I don't know if that's what you guys are doing, or if that's what you guys are trying to. Well, what do you mean well within my rights? With 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 with, with filming. I'm just first time I've ever been in Oakmont. I'm just okay. Taking a video of the area. Okay. So, I mean, you guys instantly turned your cameras to me. That's that's the only reason why I've, uh... Right. I actually, because you came up and started mean, speaking to them. I film anybody yeah, that comes I mean, up and talks to me. They they are well within their right to do so, it's just... Well, why don't you tell us what the concern is? Instead of just calling 911, what's the concern? We didn't, we didn't call 911. Oh, I, didn't call I, you said several so, people so, called, so, so I don't know. Someone, someone down the street did, that's why. Oh, okay. All right, do you guys have any idea or anything like that? Do I have any ID? Yes. I, have, I always have ID. Can I get it off you? Absolutely not. Okay. Why would I give you ID? I was just, you know, just, just asking. I'm allowed okay. to ask, right? You're allowed Absolutely. to film. I'm allowed to ask, right? I, I, okay. I said you can ask, sure. Absolutely. All right, so. Absolutely. Just out filming, doing your own thing? Uh, yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's it. All right. And well. I hope you let these folks know there's nothing to get creeped out about with, you know. No, it's certainly, just... certainly not trying to secret myself. I'm out in broad daylight. Okay. Carrying around a four foot stick with a massive camera. No, no, on. I didn't. You don't look threatening to me. I was just, you know. Sitting there. It's just, uh, it's just awkward. You came out and you were yelling something at the guy I'm with. I guess asking him what we were doing yeah, or something. Yeah, just asked him right. So I walked over to respond to what you were saying and then you just got all weird. No, I just did it out of curiosity. It's just because, okay. sir, you know, in the town of Oakmont, we don't normally have this going on. You know well, I'm I mean? glad I'm here then. We and can expose some folks to some new stuff. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. It's just... Well, I can't get into why I do what I do. It's my personal business. Let's not be silly. I'm, I'm creeped out by all the questions, to be honest with you. I don't know why everybody's all up in my business here. In today's world, why are you, why are you questioning people questioning Today's world? That's a whole nother conversation. I don't know what your today's world is. I don't know. That's a very subjective thing. Unless your opinion is the rock solid. Uh, is this like a political thing that you're doing? Absolutely not. It's, it's, it's a video thing. For like the internet? Like I said, I'm not going to get into specifics it's of what I'm like, doing. Why? Why not? How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Good. Is it uh, Officer Catani? Yeah. Katani, cool. Yes, badge number 703? Yep. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Okay. Doing excellent. I don't know. I, just, I don't want anybody to be in fear or creeped out of concern, so I certainly hope you're going to let them that's all know that. That's yeah. all. Well, I'm just telling that's not my intention. I'm not trying to creep I mean, I'm anybody out. I'm telling you that's what you're doing, though. You're telling me that's very subjective. 
No, I'm just going off of what the public I think if I had a little secret camera and I was walking around filming covertly, that would be creepy. Maybe. You're out in the public and you're I mean, you're, you're well within your rights. You're just well, but like I said, no, I, 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 I'm sure it's my right to take video just, on a public street. Call, that's all. Right, right. So what I'm saying is, is it's unfortunate that people will get creeped out and alarmed by that. So I'm hoping that you gentlemen will explain to them that there's nothing wrong with it and there's oh, nothing to be concerned about. Did you talk to them? That's all. No, it's somebody down there. I'm not gonna somebody. say who. Okay. All right. Very good. So we're just good. here. I think it's sure. creepy that people start getting all creeped out about a couple of guys Everything. with cameras. Well, the thing is, is you're you're if you wanna if you wanna ask them why they're creeped out and film that. Oh, I did. So why okay. why are we? I asked you why. What are we're you creeped out about? I was sitting in here by ourselves. I wasn't. And you have a camera. Out. No, you're two women that came out on the sidewalk and started yelling at us, asking us what we're doing. So we walked down your way. I did. And then you were like, yell though. Never said, happened. Oh, no. I just ne that you never happened. That's a lie. I never walked up and slammed my camera lens in the window. 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 Yeah, he creeped. I just was creeped. I was just more or less trying to be respectful. I was like, hey guys, what's going on? I was trying to be. Just like business. Just because it's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was like, hey guys, what's going on? I wasn't trying to do it in a. Way. I was not being oh, I never said you were being aggressive. You did say you no, were being aggressive. No, I didn't. I said you. Yell. Well, you had to like, yell. We were 50 yell. feet down the sidewalk. It's I never said you were being aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. They no, stuck their heads out the were... doors. You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're talking about semantics. Yeah, yeah, Whatever the situation is. I can have a conversation with now. anybody I like to have a conversation with on the sidewalk. Which is fine. Yeah, so I'm not wrong. And if it's my right, there's no way I could be wrong. No, I'm saying about the yelling portion. I think you guys would better serve the public. De-escalating the situation and explaining to them that there's is that what wrong. you're trying is that, is that what you're trying to do is film 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 us de-escalating the situation at this point absolutely so, so yes what you're, what you're at this point I am trying a, to you're causing a public nuisance at this point no not at all not at all I, I can't be causing a public so nuisance so having a conversation no with you there's no public nuisance what's there for me to de-escalate the conversation. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the fifth at this point, and not even talk to you anymore. I'm gonna exercise my other right, which is to remain silent. Have a good day, gentlemen. Police want to come in at any point. You're more than welcome to. It's a safe space. Yeah. It's a safe space. There you go. So go in the safe space. You have nothing to worry about. Why come out here in the danger, danger land? Stay in the safe space. I'm not scared. I'm not trying to scare you. I am. That's because you're a redhead. I'm a redhead too, so I could say that. Okay, you got a point. Right? There you go. Right. I'm, I, you know what? You. And same thing I told your partner, I'm really not looking to concern anybody out here. That. But I'm not also looking at, I'm not going to pack up my camera and go home because a couple of people got upset. I get that. That's foolish. So if people don't want to have conversations with me, they're, I'm not in, initiating any conversations. I'm not engaging anyone. And if they come up to me and I want to respond, I will. Right. If I don't, I think from now on, I probably just won't. Okay. And then they'll call you more and tell you I'm being creepy because I won't answer them. So I appreciate you're very professional and courteous. I appreciate you and you have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. He's gonna take him up on that nail salon treatment. He's taking him all the way into the back of the store. Into the safe space. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, well, I'm going back to what I was doing. See you later. I think the lady at the liquor store needs to see us out here recording anyway. She opened all the blinds back up. They probably told her to do that. Foolish. Absolutely foolish. And then he starts talking about creating a disturbance. Clown. Clown. Is that a crosswalk right there? Yeah. We go get uh, some video of his car real quick. And that's what happens, guys. Like you just saw, the cops show up. They get everybody more riled up. They could have cooled that situation out with two sentences. But uh, they start falling into the same stupid pattern that these other people are in. And then you're having a uh, shit fest going on here. So this is vehicle number 7-0. Of the Oakmont Police Department. Feelings enforcer guy here flirting with the chicks when he should be going back to work.
So now he's telling him a whole story about what's going on. I hope he's got his body cam on. Did you notice if he had him? Yeah, I didn't notice. Hope he's got it on. Back to work, Junior. If that was a bunch of sweaty guys in there, you think you'd still be in there talking to him? But do you see the one-sided story that they tell the cop? We came up, slammed my lens into her window. She actually almost, she hit the glass pretty hard. Um, and forgot to include the fact of that they came out, yelled down the street to us. I never said they were being aggressive. I said she came out and yelled down to us, asking the guy I'm with what we're doing, and we walked over to their store. That's exactly what happened, as evidenced by two cameras. Yeah, come on in. Safe place. Yeah. Trading safety for liberty, or liberty for safety, is a, uh, it's a bad deal. The one in the red shirt's over there just trying to stir the pot. And the other one with the older lady with the black shirt and the white hair. Wow, did you see the death stare she was giving me? It was like Medusa. Thought I was going to turn to stone, man. It's really silly. My hope is that these videos exploit the stupidity of these kinds of people and uh, give us all an idea of how not to behave. Law enforcement especially, but you know what? Some of them get it and some never will. Well, here comes Officer Krumsky. Smiles, everyone, smiles. It's like Fantasy Island. So now he's gonna go down. He's decided to continue his investigation because he got butt hurt, that I wouldn't give him my ID and uh, wouldn't answer his questions and stood up for my rights. So he's gonna go down there and see if he can solicit anything out of the liquor store. Here comes fire starter number two. Doesn't want anybody to see her with her box of wine. She'll probably feel better after she goes home and has a couple of swigs. So the officer is right inside the door having a conversation with somebody. I think he's gonna come out in a minute. And I stayed on this side of the street to A, get the wide view of the situation here. And also when the uh, officer returns to his vehicle, which is on this side of the street, I want to ask him or see if he's got a body cam on. And I want to ask him if it's running or if it was running while he was inside the uh, businesses here. He really doesn't want to leave. He's having fun hanging out in here. So let's find out if we have a body cam and if it's on. So his partner's back. I just wanted to check, so you guys don't have body cams yet? What's that? No, we don't. No? Okay. No. I just wanted to see if you had one. I was going to ask you no. if it was on. No, actually, this car that I'm in doesn't even have a camera. Really? Nope. Wow. Would you would you be interested in them getting cameras? Yes, absolutely. Very good. Appreciate absolutely. that. Very cool. We've all, we've all wanted them for a while. Um, it's coming down the road for us, so. Okay. Well, I'll cross my fingers for you, because I think you should have them, too. Yep. There's been plenty of incidents, I swear. It would have helped me. Absolutely. And plenty of instances where I'll help everybody. everybody. Objective witness that never lies, right? Absolutely. That's it, buddy. Do you guys Appreciate have a YouTube you. channel? Sorry? Do you have a YouTube channel? Do I have a YouTube channel? No, no. I don't. No. I didn't know if you guys had like a YouTube channel or something like that or uh, whatever. No. I was going to subscribe and Maybe see I should something. get one. I'm too old for a YouTube channel. <laughs> no, you ain't, you ain't too old for wouldn't YouTube. Wouldn't even know how to run it. What's that? I wouldn't even know how to run I it. I wouldn't either. Yeah. I, I just know how to watch funny videos. Gotcha. Right on. Well, have All fun. Right. All right. Well, you guys have a good day. Okay? All right, man. You too. All right, so he smoothed out pretty quick. And the reason I did not tell him we have uh, YouTube channels is because let him find out on his own. He didn't really earn my respect here today.
he uh, decided to leave on a good note because he knows he has nothing. And uh, his superiors probably got back to him on the radio and told him to get the hell out of here. So I uh, wasn't really explaining, into explaining myself today, but he'll find out. I assure you he will see the video. All right, so I'm going to go down to the uh, crosswalk here and join the watchman on the other side of the street. Be right back. Wow, these people can't just can't get enough. Wow. Go in the safe space. Safe space. Go inside. Safe. Go in the safe space. Lock it up. There you go. There you go. Lock it up good. Clown. Total clown. Watch, I'm calling it. She's going to come out again. Yeah? Yeah, she just came out again. She's giving me the finger through the window. Is she really? Why, because the cops couldn't give her any satisfaction, so now she's giving you the finger? I want the finger. Where is she? She's just closing that. I'd like to get the finger. She was just there. She was closing that one. She's pissed. Yeah. She's going to go in the back and... uh Hit that little vodka bottle she's got hidden underneath the boxes back there. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, yeah. End of the day. I know you're doing great, right? Yes, we are. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you. You want to uh, check out what other businesses we have going on here while we're here? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, it seems like the people were out here having a big problem Yeah, at this point, we might as, well, might as well visit the whole strip. We were just coming to the uh, state-run liquor store here. Yeah. Check out the rest of the stores. What is this place called? Uh, Leone's Pizza. Pizza, pizza. And it's funny how they all come out so nice. Everybody comes out. What's going on, guys? What are we doing, guys? And then as soon as you don't want to answer them, boom! Train wreck. How are you doing, bud? All right. Beer, barbecue, and freedom can't go wrong. Yeah, yep. Love it. Thank you. That's what his t-shirt says. Beer, barbecue, and freedom. You can keep the beer, but uh, I'll take the barbecue and freedom. And an Arnold Palmer. Oh, Leone's Pizza. I wonder if this is where Mama Leone works. She left a note on the door. It says, Sonny, move out to the country. Looks like she's on the phone, too. She's probably taking an order. Ah, come on, the pizza people can't be stressed out. Pizza's cash, man. Oh, here we have uh, Oakmont PD going by again. Got to keep an eye on those cameramen. Never know when they might zoom in. Can I get a shot of that shirt? Yeah, sure. That's very cool, man. Oh, Appreciate thank you. you. What's your first name? Rudy. Rudy, pleasure to meet you, Rudy. Yeah, you too. Have a good day, brother. Hey, they saw me at the Verona John Hayes all the time. Cool. Like a bad way. Oh, I was just taking a video. Thank yeah, you. I was just like really. Oh God, am I on video? Yes. No, no, no. No, you gotta make you gotta make Leone's look good. Is that how you say it, Leone's? Leone's, yeah. Leone's, cool. Like Mama Leone. I don't know. Yeah, That's you're not name. old enough to remember that song. One of our owners' names. Last name. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Is the pizza good? Yes. Excellent. We might have to come in and try it out. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. So what? You want to go down to the other end see if anything else is open? Uh. Post office. Yeah. You want to go that way? Sure. Yeah. And you know what? Is she still in there? Yeah, I just want to thank you for not yelling at me over my camera. Oh, yeah, no, I don't People care. get so mad when we have cameras. No, I don't care. I just would prefer to, like. Yeah, let me come in for a sec so I don't let all your AC out the window. Yeah, I would just, like, prefer to not be, like, in a video. It's free advertising for the business. You can video yeah. our building, just right, right. not me personally. Oh, well, I wasn't until you came out, okay. but I appreciate you. I think yeah. you have a wonderful personality, and you should have no problem being on camera. Yeah, You're a great I representative I do for the not business look here. Today. I got a blue shade on my oh, I think you look fantastic. Don't worry about it. We all look good. Yeah. Thanks, all right. Guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Where's the video going to be? Sorry? Where's the video going to be? Oh, we don't know. They send us out to do these things, and then I send it in, and I'm not sure, you know. Okay. All right. You never know. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. All right. So. If you happen to be in downtown Oakmont, check out Mama Leone's Pizza. It's exactly how that should go. Normal 
If everybody keeps acting the fool, one day we're all gonna forget what normal looks like. So uh, at least once a week, one day out of the way, pick a day, you know, it could be a Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, whatever you like, and uh, act normal that day. And uh, at least you'll keep it in the rotation. Oh, that's all right. Take a nice picture. Hey, well, I was going to say, you look lovely today. Nothing oh, to be afraid no, of. No, no, okay. nice ah, she's already married. I knew it. All the good ones are taken. Uh, deli. A deli. Man, let me tell you something about a deli. I've been out west for a very long time, and uh, I don't know how we're going to do in Pennsylvania. When we head a little further east, man, I'm getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. Go out west and tell somebody you want a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. They'll look at you like you have three heads. Don't even go as far as SPK, though. I have no idea what you're talking about. Goes our friend again. Well, eyeglass place. Yeah. Hello. Sorry? What are you filming for? What am I filming for? Yes. Oh, we don't know each other well enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Who I was... am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Charlotte. Charlotte? Mm -hmm. And I guess you're an employee here? Yes. Oh, I'm okay. the receptionist. I was just wondering what you guys were up to. Take it some video. Okay. Um, you're making our clients a little nervous. Making your clients nervous? Yes. How, is that? How am I doing that? By looking at your glasses? Well, they don't want to be videoed. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So you don't want anybody to take any pictures of your glasses or anything? Um, well, we prefer uh, getting permission first. Can I have permission to take pictures of the glasses? I'm not the one to give that in the office managers out today. So no pictures today? Uh, really? Really, please. So I have to stop? Please. And Thank I just, why, why is that again? I, it's very confusing to me. Privacy. Privacy. Yes. For the people that are sitting behind a glass window? Isn't that silly? You gotta admit. But I know you're just doing your job and you're just saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, but, we just have to protect our customers, our clients. I don't think they're in any danger. <laughs> the boogeyman, you could tell them I'm not the boogeyman. The boogeyman's not coming today. It's just a couple of guys with cameras. All right. All right. All right. Well, All right. Thanks. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I'm sorry? What, what are just filming? Just filming, like, yeah. So are you going in everybody's windows? Am I going in everybody's yeah, windows? Yeah, I like There's not enough hours in the day and I don't have the legs for that, no. Okay. Definitely not everybody's windows. Okay. No. I was just curious. I didn't know if there was something like going on for Oakmont or... I got to tell you, I don't know what it is because I walk, maybe it's the size of the camera. I walk around with this camera and people are always very interested in what I'm doing for some reason. Well, yeah, it's like a news camera kind of thing. And you know how people are about their 15 minutes of fame. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't mind people asking me, mm -hmm. but then people, you haven't here today, but then people demand to know when I say I don't want to get into it. Because I'm recording audio too, I'm taking video. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm just doing my thing. Uh -huh. And then, but you know, people will come out and say, why are you doing, what, tell me what you're doing. I'd rather not have the discussion and then they get indignant about it and get mm -hmm, upset mm -hmm. hey, somebody just called the police on us down the street oh, understandable, understandable really you think that's understandable <laughs> kind of in come this, on well in this day and age i i kind of do understand why a lot of people don't want to be filmed really yes i i understand why people wouldn't want to be filmed looking like a fool or making a fool of themselves right. but if you're not doing anything wrong what's the well so some people excuse are me in no, oh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, I was um, asking them what they were doing and um, asking them not to film our facility. Yes. 
so why is my, why am I, I'm not approving this. I'm the owner of the practice. Shut it down. Shut what down? Shut it down. Why are you filming us? Shut yourself down. What are you talking about? You just came out and interrupted a very cordial conversation okay. with an attitude. Well, this is, Shut it down. This Who is are my you? practice. Well, this is my camera. You can't film my practice. I'm filming your practice right now. All I, right, I'm going to call the cops. Do what you want to do. You're ridiculous. She's going to call the cops. Shut it down. These people are out of their mind. She's going to call the cops. The cops are going to tell you to go back to work. Dummy. Yeah, harassment. Now he's going to come back and try the bullshit story. Oh, well, now we've had several calls, so now I need to demand your ID. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. I'm sorry. I'm, I was videoing the stuff in your windows. Kids, what, where does your mind go? You're sick. You're sick. So close the blinds. Create privacy for them. Why do you have them on display? You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Toodaloo, man. Can't be filming kids. What a clown. I'm going to walk across the street. And this is exactly why any law enforcement that's watching this video, this is exactly why you need to explain to people what the deal is and be somebody who is de-escalating and quelling the fears out here instead of exacerbating. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, you think you're doing people a favor, getting them all fired up, and you're not. You're really not. Because this is what you create. We gave you an opportunity here today to have common sense conversations with the business owners in town. So, uh, you know, I would take that if I was you. Have those conversations, consider it a training exercise, and move on. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, here we go. I don't want you to take my picture. He's a, he's a minor. He's a minor. You just took pictures of a minor. You pervert. You're a pervert. You're a pervert. <laughs> and I lied, Watchman's not a minor anymore. He just turned 18 in November. Oops, I forgot. So look at that. She doesn't want us taking their pictures, right? So she comes out and takes our pictures. Rules for thee, but not for me. If you're gonna open a business and you wanna create privacy for your clients, and the business location is on a public sidewalk and you have glass windows, they make something called curtains and blinds. Uh, window tint doesn't always work depending on the lighting, so I'd go with the curtains and blinds. But uh, create your privacy, people. You pay money for the space, and if you want it to be private, make it private. If you want to leave your windows open to Main Street, then uh, guess what? There is no privacy, so how can I violate it? Oh, here's another one. That's the one that was parked. They both just parked down there. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going there. Let's go see what's going on. There you go. They're going to the stupid eye doctor's office. Well, we saw you pull up, so we came back. Yeah. She was. I am the foul charges. I am the foul charges. Well, she was upset because you guys are just filming inside the business. That's the so I can't walk down the street with a camera without being harassed? Is that what goes on in this town? No, nah, that's not the <laughs> problem. That's not the way this town operates. I'll tell you what happened. The uh, receptionist, she identified herself as a receptionist, came out. We're having a very cordial conversation with her, laughing and smiling. And then the business owner came out and started screaming, shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah. So I said, absolutely not. So that, at that point, my yeah. Mr. Nice Guy went away. Right. And I said, no, I'm not shutting it down. Yeah, the problem that we're having is that, you know, you're allowed, obviously, to be out here on the street. There's no expectation of privacy when you're out here on the street. Right. The problem that we run into is that whenever you, sorry. It's okay. Whenever you start putting the, the camera inside, then it starts to become an issue. Well, nobody put the camera inside. 
when you start filming inside. Yeah, when you you're now the, filming from juveniles. From okay. No, that's from not the, the case. Al what I was telling this, case. what I was telling, telling officer. Case, all right, no reason to get hot. What I was telling officer yeah. Katani was, is the receptionist came out. Mm -hmm. We were having a very cordial, lovely conversation with okay. her, laughing back and forth. All of a sudden, the owner in the green shirt comes out and just starts screaming, "Shut it down!" Yeah, I understand. See, that. they don't understand. And you, they don't understand that that you are well within your First Amendment rights to film in the public place. You're right. on a public sidewalk, right? What it what it arises to is that you are now creeping out residents and well, owners. That's just a different word. What if it, so look, of, they have they have a display inside of this window and they have glasses right here. So if I walk up to this window and I'm looking at the display they have on the window, you're sure. going to tell if me that's continue, illegal? If you continue, I'm just asking. I understand. If you continue to film inside there, yeah, you, you or will just, be cited for harassment. If you continue to film inside there, you or will be just, cited for harassment. If you continue to film inside there, you or will be cited for harassment. Yeah, you can't for filming that. inside the windows? For filming inside, yeah, you you're filming people who do not want to be filmed. So you, listen to me. Listen I don't to me. want to be charged with harassment. I'm trying to have a civil... You keep trying to escalate. I'm trying I'm to have not, a calm conversation with you. Hold on. Is there a supervisor available? Yeah, yeah that's him. me. That's you. Okay, so I'm going to so, deal with him, okay, if that's okay with you. So okay? what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the people... They, they have an expectation of privacy once they're in the... You know, once they're inside Not when they're the behind window. clear glass windows and they have well, static displays. And I'm not allowed to come by and look at the mirror... Uh, the. Well, that, that and absolutely. what if I want to record them so when I go home yeah, I can but, sit down and look at them? But you got to understand where they're coming from. Well, I they're understand their business. I understand their apprehension and maybe calling you and having you come out and educate them that I'm doing nothing wrong. But for this officer to threaten me with harassment because I'm taking video inside of a window is completely false. Well, absolutely false. Sure, I can. You, you can't point the video camera. I if can. There's children in there, or I don't know, know who's in there. First of all, you see the glare on these windows. You can't even see past one, two I feet understand. inside the window. You're well within your right to film. The I can film inside the, the window, of course. The sure, of course. It's the people inside the store. That's not true. I assure you. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm trying yeah, to have a healthy conversation okay, with you. Okay, that's fine. If I am outside, okay. Here's the way the law works. Okay. okay. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna educate you today. Okay. And tell you how the law works. You cannot trespass my eyes. So What's anything, that? you cannot trespass my eyes. Okay. So this is the law. This is, the that. Supreme Court has ruled on this. There's case law, right. okay? So as long as I am standing somewhere where I have a lawful right to be, I can look at, video, or photograph anything my eyes can and see. we've told you that. If this was somebody's home, that would be a different story. Absolutely. Right? This is a public cool. business on a main street with glass windows, with static displays in the windows. Absolutely no reason I can't film in the window. And you know that's the case. That's absolutely the case. And you know, you guys don't want to, I'm trying to be civil with you. I even told you, right. I thanked you for your professionalism. Absolutely, don't we're trying to be civil with you guys as well. No, you're not, you're threatening me with harassment, non-lawful nonsense, that's not true. You don't know what my education is, you don't know what my background is. And I'm not trying to give you a hard no, time. I understand that. But I, I am not gonna be shunned away from exercising my rights, I can tell you that right now. Nobody's shunning so you So if you want to threaten me with harassment, right? arrest, can whatever you're gonna do, that's up to you. Can I ask that's you That's completely a, up to you. Just a question, if that's all right. Yeah, absolutely, um, you can. Um, what generated this today? Phone calls for people freaking out over a camera. I mean, I have engaged with everybody in a very. I'm t I, told, I spoke to everybody today the same way I'm speaking to you. Until this woman came out and started screaming, the first thing she said was "shut it down," screaming, "shut it down," well, she yelling. Obviously, not have a so that to me is creating well, she, a disturbance. She doesn't know you guys have the right to film. It sounds like you don't know I, I have the right to film. I do. I do. That's the first so thing. So you're just I trying to intimidate me out of my no, rights? No, no don't go there. I'm no telling you now. You don't make a big rights. mistake. The first thing I said to you when we first made contact is you guys are well within your rights to film within the public. That's correct. That is the... Without the, limitation. The Period, absolute, doubt, end of story. That's it. And that's why we left the first that's time. It. And even if I film in the windows here, there's nothing you can do about it. I understand it. that. I'm glad you understand that. And so I, I would appreciate if you don't threaten anybody with harassment from now on when that's unlawful. It's, that's intimidation. It's, it's, it's not, that's intimidation and you're harassing not. me making unlawful threats. I'm, yes, it is. I'm not making unlawful And you don't want to open up Oakmont to a lawsuit because I'll clean the bank. So. Don't go there. Why, why are you doing this today? Your officer here is threatening me with charging no, me I'm with harassment. That's why I'm upset. That. I'm not talking now about Now I'm that. upset. Yeah. Now I'm out here standing up for my rights instead of exercising them. You've put me in a position where I need to defend myself now. So well, I would suggest to you, you've been, you've been very calm and cordial. That's why you're the supervisor. You need to learn from him. Okay, you don't intimidate people. That gun and that badge doesn't give you an explicit set of rights, okay? Right. Well, I'm it doesn't. Talk to everybody inside. Go talk to whoever you want to talk to. And I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing. And if I want to film in the windows, I'll film in the windows. That's the end of the story.
And I appreciate you being reasonable. So that yeah. officer is being, you, you to, witnessed the whole just thing. Just trying to figure this whole thing out. Just, uh, you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. This is a First Amendment audit. Right. Okay. And you know exactly what that is, okay? So I'm out here with the sole purpose to exercise my right to take video and photographs in public. Right. And I am not going to allow you or that other officer or anybody else to interfere with that right. If you want to do that, it's going to be putting me in handcuffs, charging me unlawfully with a crime, and then, like I said, I'm going to clean out the coffers in Oakmont. Okay. So let's not go there. You've been very civil. You've yeah, been very just curious. Trying to figure out well, now I've told you what it is. You don't have to figure it out rationale. anymore. I'll even, when we're all done here, I'll give you my channel name. All right, cool. Are we being detained? Are we being detained right now? No, no, okay. no. You guys are good. Very good. All right. Thank you. Well, no, you know what? I, I, want, I want to see how this ends with your officer. He's got a hair up his butt to try to take some legal action here. And I'm hoping you're going to rein him in and save the citizens a lot of heat. We're just trying to make Well, peace. I've been very forthright with you, and I told you what I'm doing. So now you can go in there and make, explain just, it to him. Just want to make peace. Yeah, but keep your officer in check. Don't let him screw up. Fair warning. Can't take video inside the windows. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We all set, Sarge? Very good. Thank you. Can I speak to you for one second before you leave? Just yeah. now now that I always wait to see how you're going to handle things yeah. before I get a little uh, well, yeah. left my defenses down. I understand that. No, I explained to them clearly that, you know, they, you, you gentlemen have a right to be out here. You're filming in the open air. You're on the public streets. There's no expectation of privacy. Okay. It's no different than if somebody has a traffic cam or um, cameras on a building, you know. Right. The problem that they had was that, I don't know if you guys are aware of the HIPAA laws. There, there's, it's I'm very familiar with HIPAA laws. Pri okay, yeah. Privacy Act. They were just worried about that as far as maybe getting information that maybe they're working on. The well, you know what's funny about HIPAA to address that? You probably already know, but HIPAA laws maybe only not. apply to people that are trained and certified in HIPAA. Oh, okay. I'm not bound by any HIPAA laws. The onus is on them to protect the private information because they've been trained Correct. and certified. Yes. So if they leave private yeah, information out, and it, I can video it and do whatever I want with it. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I would. Right. I'm not that kind of. That's not yeah, what my interest is. I don't see is. that you being no. that kind of person. You're no. not a vindictive person. No, not at all. And just so I you know, this is this is my son. Oh, okay. So I'm nice certainly not you. out filming kids with my son. I'm Joe, by the way. And that my wife is standing down the street here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. So nice to meet you, Joe. My name's Jason. Jason. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure. And I'll tell you what, you know, I'm a little, I am a little concerned though. I just want to express my concern as a citizen to you. Apart from this, your officer threatened basically to charge me with harassment if I pointed my camera in the windows. Yeah. So I don't know if that I'll was. I'll speak with him and, and we've already talked about that, addressed that. Okay. I appreciate that. We talked about it in there. I talked to my supervisor on the phone as well, just okay. to double check. Of course. Sure. Uh, I want to make sure that, that everybody's on the right. same page here. I just, with him, I don't know if that was lack of knowledge or if that was an intimidation tactic uh, that he's using, but it it's... maybe lack of knowledge. Okay. You know, I've, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt I've, and I'll I've, agree with you. I've done these uh, situations before and, you know, the big, the big thing is that you want to make sure that everybody is protected, including you and, you know... Everybody is protected in regards to the then, statutes. And in regards to the Constitution, not in regards to their feelings. Correct. Because then what it'll turn into is one day somebody walks by with a pink tutu on. Right. I get, get cringed out by the pink tutu. I call you and I want them arrested. Right. That, because they they scared me. Yeah. That's, that's what, foolish. That's what makes this country so great. Absolutely. You know, yes, sir. We, we all have our opinions, but as long as we're not breaking the laws, it doesn't matter. Like you said, somebody, you know, walks past and has something that, that you don't agree with or, you know... They say something to you that you don't agree with, but, you know, we'll just talk about, like, politics or something. Right. That's what makes this country great. We all have our own opinions, and, you know, we can form them based on judgment, uh, you know, knowledge. Right. Education. And luckily like we have a constitution in this country with guarantees those privileges and Absolutely. rights. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Now imagine Absolutely. being in a country where you don't. Oh, man, you know? it's just terrible. But I really appreciate you handling it that yeah. way. Um, is it guys. sergeant? No, is it... just just patrolman. So you're just a shift supervisor? Yeah, 24 gotcha. years. Well, I, 24 years, and you haven't gotten any stripes? I hope you get them. No, you I must just, not want them. No, <laughs> at this point, no. You no. seem like too calm of a guy to want to get wrapped yeah. up in a mess. You know, why, why fight with people? It's just that the world's hard enough as it is. Yes, sir. You know, it's, it's tough. Everybody's fighting now. 
it, it just it stinks. So well, we I, need more officers like you out there. Yeah, just talk to people. That's the big thing. Communication. That's it. Yep. You know? that's this, you're my kind of guy. That's what I always yeah, preach. Trying to trying to just figure it out. You know, that's the whole thing. I try and you to know, figure out what people how, how they're thinking and, and stuff like that. Right. And you know how I look at it too. Right now, as you're well aware, there's a little bit of a divide between the citizens and law enforcement in oh, this country. No doubt. And we try to do everything we can do to try to close that gap. Okay. So the way I'm looking at it from my subjective opinion is, I gave your department an opportunity to shine today. Mm -hmm. And you've taken that opportunity and run with that. it. No, you really did. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. Yeah. Your other officer could wind up getting himself another officer or an innocent citizen in a lot of trouble or hurt or killed one day. And that's scary stuff. I understand. And, and I'm going to ask you a quick question. What do you think, because a, 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 you're coming across as a good police officer here today. I try to be. And there are, there are many good police officers out there. I don't against anybody. What do you think your worst enemy is as a good cop? Right now? Yep. Um, geez, that's a great question. My enemy right now is, is somebody pulling a gun on me and just doing a drive-by. No. Nope. No, I, well, not my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Not my opinion. Not to negate your opinion, but not in my opinion. My opinion, your worst enemy right now in this environment, in this day and age, as you like to say, is a bad cop. Oh, absolutely. Because a bad cop is out there getting the good guys hurt, killed, sued, arrested yeah. every day. So the problem lies in the fact that policing is unique in the fact that you guys police yourselves. Mm -hmm. Most places don't have that luxury, Correct. right? So being that that's the case, we as citizens rely on you to effectively police yourselves and rein in the bad guys. And I'm not asking you to destroy anybody's career. Right. You know, people make mistakes. This guy might, his wife might have given him hell last night. Maybe yeah. he's in a bad mood. Yeah. I don't know. So all I ask you to do is have the talk with him and explain to him that those, that type of behavior that was just exhibited by that officer here today can escalate a situation into a mess. And you know how it is. Once it goes up, it's hard to bring it back down. And that's so thing. that's why de-escalation is written into your policy. Knowledge is power. Yes. If you know what you're allowed and not allowed to do, then I think that you can de-escalate anything. Right. That's the thing. And that's what we're trying to do is we're out here trying to sp spread awareness, open up constructive conversation, mm -hmm. and produce something and be productive Makes in society. Yeah, absolutely. You know, too many people sit around and complain what's going on in the world, and they do nothing about it. Yeah, they just complain. That's and, the evil in this world. Yep. They yep. just want change, but they don't want to make the change. And they don't think they're capable of making the change. You know, one little increment, my son and I and my wife have been in 29 states in the past three years. Oh, wow. Driving. I'm, I just, I'm about to hit 80,000 miles. Oh, wow. And our whole purpose in doing that on our own dime is we go out and we're planting seeds of freedom and seeds of liberty, trying to defend our Constitution because it's in a bad way right now. And we're not very happy about it. So we try to passively go out and exercise our rights. And this is just a form of doing that. Because gotcha. rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they tend yeah, to go they, away. Yeah, get fat. That's it. <laughs> but fat. I really appreciate you. I like you. And yeah. I, I, you and I could probably uh, yeah. have I a like, lot of conversation. I like what you have to say. I like what you have to say, and I appreciate you. And I hope uh, hope this conversation doesn't get lost, because I know you have a lot to do and a lot going on. Yeah. But it's... this happened for a reason here today. So let's all make the most out of it. Very good, sir. All right, sir. Appreciate I appreciate it. you. Jason. And it's Katani. Yep. Katani? Katani. Katani. -T -T. I forgot I'm back on the East Coast. Katani. C A T T. Out west, they'd say Katani. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother, but I appreciate you, man. Thanks, Jason. Thank you so much. Have a great okay. day. Is it all right if I cross, or am I going to get a jaywalking oh, hold ticket? On, no. No. <laughs> I just don't want you to get hit. You want me to go down to the crosswalk? No. Okay. okay. I'll see some traffic here. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, just so you know, I'm going to stick around for like two minutes and take video after you leave just so they don't have the appearance of us getting chased away. Oh, okay. And then I'm out of here. Oh, I'm not going to linger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right? No, we're done. We're First time I ever came to your town, we had the experience, yeah. and now I'm going to get something to eat. Yeah. Good. So that sounds like a good plan. All right, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Have, have, have a good day. Night. So it looks like they shut her down. So as you can see, the cop is still here. I'm still filming in the windows. And uh, I gotta, you know, we love to expose uh, tyrants and all that kind of nonsense, but I also am very happy to celebrate successes and uh, great success by that sergeant here today. I gotta tell you, very impressed with his attitude, the way he handled things. He actually called one of his higher-ups, uh, verified what was going on. And, uh, you know, that first officer was a danger, man. He really is. Different day, different people, no cameras, 
uh, somebody who doesn't know their rights, isn't as educated as we are, you know, that could have got ugly real fast. And that's, uh, that's scary. You know, think about the number of people that are sitting in prison right now that did absolutely nothing wrong. It happens every day. And uh, we care about that. We care about you if you're there. Um, so, enough said. Well, all right, guys, that was an interesting one. Honestly, I didn't know which way that was going to go at the end there. Um, but freedom prevails in the end, guys. Stand up for your rights. Don't take any crap from people. Uh, treat people that are cordial to you cordial back. And uh, if people want to have an attitude and try to trample over your rights, don't, don't allow it. Don't put up with it because that's the evil in this world, like I was saying when I was talking to the uh, officer. You know, bad enough people that don't get up and do something about their rights every day. People that are trying to suppress other people's rights should be ashamed of themselves. And uh, it's disgusting, it really is. They have no idea the privileges and benefits that they have living in this country. And if you took them somewhere they didn't have those privileges and benefits, you'd see how fast their opinion would change. Um, absolutely disgusting. But uh, I am very hot. It's humid out here. I'm starving. We're going to go get something to eat. Um, but I never like to leave you guys without reminding you that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and the Watchmen are out here every day getting an education, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Um, I also invite you to check out his channel if you're so inclined. Uh, he puts a lot of work into his videos. You'll hear his narration, obviously, uh, maps, information, stuff you won't find here on my videos. So if you're so inclined, check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but that's it. So like I said, we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and try to find a diner or somewhere to get something to eat. Uh, back on the East Coast, Diner City. So for now, coming to you from Oakmont, Pennsylvania, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. Sorry? They give you guys a hard time? Yeah, yeah. they did. Well, you know who we are? Yeah. Oh, cool. I I'm thought you said Madison. I'm That's sorry. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. Cool. I'm Scott. Pleasure to meet you, Scott. Yeah. I, I, uh, <clears throat> we were driving by, and I saw the cameras. I didn't see you guys, and I was like... Anybody auditing in Oakmont? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of odd. And then we had came back by, I saw the two cop cars, and I saw them swerving over, and I saw you guys watching them, and I was like... Well, I'll tell you what, it was the typical here. good cop, bad cop. The uh, officer threatened to arrest us for harassment for taking pictures on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and the supervisor shut him down and put him in his place. Oh, good. Luckily. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So, so at least the supervisor and... was... Yeah. Oh, thank oh. God. Yeah, I don't feel like going to jail today. I'm hungry. No, I know. What are you guys doing here? Just, just checking out. Yeah, just, just passing through. Randomly. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we try to be random. We don't yeah. throw darts, but we try no, to be yeah. random. Yeah, cool. 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 And it was Scott? Yeah. I really appreciate you, man. Yeah, Thank I'll you for coming out. I'll look for the video. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, it'll be up tomorrow.